Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a Harry Potter set, set 4752, Professor Lupin's Classroom from 2004. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. Alright, so here we have the completed build. This set is right around 150 pieces and comes with three awesome minifigures. And I actually didn't get this set until a couple of years ago. A few years ago I just decided I was going to go out and try and buy as many of the original Harry Potter sets as I could that I still didn't have, which at the time was quite a few. And I'm down to one now. I just need the motorized Hogwarts Express that came out during this era. This I think that was a 2004 set. It's so astronomically expensive I have yet to be able to find it at a reasonable price. So of the original Harry Potter sets, that's the last one I need to get. I do really love this year's 2004, this year's wave of Harry Potter set. 2004 had some really great classic Harry Potter sets, this one being one of them. And I feel like they weren't as well advertised maybe for this series. Um, I don't remember seeing them out as much. I don't feel like they were found in stores as much, at least not in our area. This one does tend to run a little more expensive, so it took me a while to find it at a reasonable price, but I'm glad I did. And I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first because they're super cool. We've got Professor Lupin. He's found in a few sets from this era. He's got the classic dark nougat colored wand which is a rare one, as well as his light gray, light bluish gray cape is also a little bit more on the rare side. I really like his hair piece, the piece they use for that's pretty cool. Very classic minifigure. Then we've got Neville Longbottom. He is exclusive to this set and his head is only in this set. Very cool. I love that in this set, they didn't put any of the, you know, the three, the Hermione, Harry, Ron minifigures. So it's really cool that, you know, Neville kind of gets his own little set here, which was pretty different for the time. And then we get Snape, but he is dressed as Neville's grandmother. So he's wearing that kind of like cat looking fur piece around his neck and he is also exclusive to this set. And all of these minifigures run pretty high. Like for the most part, probably $10 or more. Um, I think in his case, he's probably closer to 15 to 20. So all of the minifigures from this set are pretty expensive because they're rare or exclusive, which is one of the reasons this set tends to go for a lot of money. It does also have some rare and exclusive parts too, so that in combination with rare exclusive minifigures ends up being, even though it's a 150 piece set, it's gonna run you a lot more than a typical 150 piece set would. So here on the end, we have a staircase. I love the staircase pieces. They, I believe, started during the Harry Potter era, somewhere around that that time. They've been out now for 20 years, which is amazing. They, so far though, are only in tan in this set, so they are still being produced. There are some 2021 sets that still use this particular piece, but so far in the last 20 years, this is the only set that they come in tan, so if you're looking for something a little bit different to add to your mock, that might be a cool piece to use because it's an exclusive color. In the back, on the first floor, you've got an orange spider. 
only in a handful of sets around this era. I believe all Harry Potter except for one Belleville, so kind of a more rare spider there. We've got a few little gadgets up on the top floor on this end. I'm not exactly sure what all of them are. This looks like maybe a telescope of some sort. We've got a classic red book. Found in a ton of sets, but super awesome. A little suitcase. I assume this is kind of where Lupin's staying. And then a few other little skull and potion bottle up there. On this end, we've got a skull and a encasing here. A couple of more little potion bottles and then one of my favorite tile pieces of all time, which is the chocolate bar, which is only in the Harry Potter sets right around this time. I think it's like the Hogwarts Express sets, the Shrieking Shack, and this one. I think that's all of them. Got another skull up top. I like the use of this trans neon orange head as well. A little bit different, a few more potion bottles. Up above here is these awesome like decorative horse armor pieces. And these also are only found in white in this set, no other sets. So a rare piece there. Again, might be something you could use for like a castle mock of some sort. Super classic piece, but in an exclusive color in this set. And then they've got a great spinning door piece. So it's supposed to imitate the wardrobe, which Snape comes out of dressed as Neville's grandmother. So that does spin. And you'd have Snape on the other side to appear. So a really cool little functional piece there to reenact that classic scene from the third book and third movie. So I do love that. I think that's a great idea and they executed it really well. So I'm glad they decided to make this into a set. It's one of those sets that, you know, hasn't been redone. It hasn't had a current era remake. So I do love this set for that reason. It feels a little more rare and unique. So this set though, like I've said a few times now, expensive. It's right around upper 50, low 60s on Bricklink for a complete copy of this set, which I know is expensive for a set of this size, but it is very cool, exclusive minifigures, rare parts. I love it, love everything about this era of Lego. So if you have the opportunity to get it, I definitely recommend it. It's a great fun build and a cute display piece. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.